Hey there guys, welcome back. Our next problem is decimal to octal. We have to write a program to convert decimal to octal. If our input is 3, then our output should be 3. This 3 is of decimal type and this 3 is of octal type. So if a coding question is like, you have to find the length of the string or you have to reverse the string or array or you have to convert decimal to octal, binary to decimal or any of this kind which already have a predefined function in the library then you don't have to call the library function these types of questions are just to test your basic problem solving skills and not your memorization power so we have to hard code how we can convert decimal to octal so how we manually convert decimal to octal Let's see, suppose we have 20 in decimal and we have to convert it in octal. So we'll divide 20 by 8 until it is indivisible further and we'll store the remainder. So we will divide 20 by 8 so we'll get 2 and the remainder is 4. Now 2 is not further divisible by 8 so we'll stop here and here comes 2. So our answer is start from bottom to upwards. So in this case our output will be 2 4. That is 20 in decimal is 24 in octal. Let's see for another number. Let's say 256. So we'll divide it by 8. So we'll get 3 2 and the remainder will be 0 and we'll again divide it by 8 so this time here comes 4 and the remainder is again 0 now 4 is not divisible by 8 so we'll stop and we'll start from 4 from bottom to up so our octal equivalent will be 4 0 0 okay the same approach we'll see in the code We'll first create an empty string to store the final result. Then we'll find the remainder dividing by 8. After that, we'll add this remainder in that string. And finally, we'll divide the number. So, let's see in code. Here I have a class decimal 2 octal. And here I have a method decimal 2 octal which returns string this is the octal number which is to be returned in the string form only and in the parameter we'll take decimal number that is integer we'll initialize a variable int remainder equal to 0 and to store the final result we'll initialize a string variable string octal equal to empty string and we'll use your while loop while decimal is greater than 0 remainder equal to decimal mod 8 mod operator returns the remainder then octal equal to remainder plus octal here we are concatenating remainder before octal okay this is because our output is from bottom to up okay and then decimal equal to decimal divided by 8 and we'll return octal now let's write the driver code i'll use scanner class to take the input scanner sc equal to new scanner system dot in and int decimal equal to sc dot next int and we'll call decimal to octal method so decimal to octal and we'll pass decimal in its parameter and we'll print it so system dot out dot print ln decimal to octal decimal okay and we'll import scanner class so import java.util.scanner 
okay so let's see first we'll compile java c decimal to octal dot java okay our file is compiled successfully now we'll run the file java decimal to octal okay so the console is waiting to enter any number let's enter 256 so for 256 we were getting 400 so let's see okay we are getting 400 let's check for 3 okay we are getting 3 so our output seems correct here we are returning this octal in the string type so if in the exam the compiler demands integer and if it won't allow the string value to return then you can convert octal string into integer here you can use integer.parsent method so integer.parsent octal and then you have to return here int type okay these two changes would allow you to return the result in integer form so let's see if this is working or not we have made changes in our code so we have to compile once again okay so file is compiled successfully now let's run let's see for 256 okay we are getting 400 now let's check for 3 okay we are getting 3 so we are getting the correct output and if you have any suggestions to optimize this feel free to tell me in the comment section and here's a task for you you have to write a program to convert the given binary number to its equivalent octal value so if the input is 10101 the output should be 25 this input number is in binary form and the output is in octal form so here you can try converting binary to decimal and then converting decimal to octal okay so give it a try we'll discuss it in the next video so that's it for this video we'll see more problems in the further lectures thank you